Today I'm going to show you how I fry chicken liver. Okay, you need a cup of flour. I use rice flour. It's much crispier than wheat flour. A cup of flour. And I use a tablespoon of whatever seasoning mix. I make my own, of course. Maybe one day I'll share that secret with y'all. And slightly less than a tablespoon of kosher salt. A tablespoon is three teaspoons. I try to use about two and two and a half teaspoons. Get whisk, mix that up. Now we need one egg, a quarter cup or four tablespoons of buttermilk. If you don't mind the heat, add a couple of dashes of Tabasco sauce to the egg wash. So basically, I set up like this. I use a paper towel to dry the livers after draining the livers in the sink and a colander and letting them get all as much blood out as possible. I pat them as dry as I can. They're very wet. Put them in the dredging flour. After dredging the livers in the season flour, dip them in the egg. Coat them with seasoned flour. And remember, this is rice flour, not wheat flour. After dredging them in the seasoned flour, I set them on a rack to, until the flour appears wet, which the liquid is soaked all the way through. You don't want it dry or it'll all fall off into the oil. As soon as they all look wet, then it's time to start frying. Okay, we're going to start the fire under the oil. Okay, I'm pretty sure we're at 350 or above. 349, 350. All right, we're ready to start cooking. Once they get the temperature, back it off to about medium high heat from the high setting. And we're going to drop in some chicken livers. And make sure you use a screen because these things have a lot of liquid and they will pop grease out all over you. Right, cook them five minutes. These things are real volatile. Do not stay close to the pot until they quit popping out. Your stove's always going to be messed after this process, so after you eat, rest up and then clean up. Move them around once or twice during the cooking so they don't stick together. I'll go ahead and bring those out. Let the excess oil drain off. Put them on the pan. Ooh, there you go. That's what I'm talking about. You don't want to get close to that thing until they slow down cooking. Boom! At the last minute of cooking time, you can turn the fire off if you're using a heavy cast iron vessel to cook them in. If you're using one of the non-stick aluminum pans, I don't recommend turning the fire off until you're finished. But with one minute to go, they'll cook out just fine with the heat left in the pan. I'll give you a closer look after I get them on the rack, cooling off. There you go, crispy fried chicken livers. Now I'm going to eat the rest of them.